What is up, guys? <clears throat> right now, I'm kind of sick, too. So, But yeah, this is your boy, the one, Chris83, bringing you my honest opinion of GTA 5. I am 50% done with the entire game, or 50 points something done with the entire game. And right now, what you're watching is some side missions of GTA 5. That's the gameplay. And let me start off by saying what I don't like about the game, or my least favorite part, is, I guess, the activities. What I mean by that is the dark plane, the racing, the bike riding, the triathlon, the boat races, all these little activities. In the most part, this is my least favorite part of the game, but they're not bad. They're well balanced in the game, and you do you do have a little bit of fun playing them, but after the first or second time playing them, you kind of forget all about them, and you know they get old pretty quickly. So that's my least favorite part, but they're still well balanced. And you still get, I guess, a few hours of somewhat enjoyable gameplay. Now, the first thing I enjoy about this game is the overall physics. The the, the controlling. What I mean by that is the way the characters control, the, the mechanics of your driving. You gotta get somewhat used to it after playing GTA 4. But once you get used to it, it's a great improvement from the previous GTA. Your car show damage when you're getting shot at. It shows damage. Your the cops are, I guess, somewhat smarter, but not really. Um, so let's say once you murder somebody, now the cops get called like they do in real life. And as long as you can run away from them and not get spotted by a cop, you kind of get away. Now if they do spot you, you got to course run. But they have a line of vision, and if they cannot see you, that means they cannot see you, and you could get away. It takes a few, like about a minute for them searching for you. And they, they kind of forget about you. Like any other GTA game. So I like the way the cops interact in this game. I like the way the vehicles interact in this game. Um, each vehicle drives a little different. So some vehicles are extremely fast but horrible turning. Some are slow with better turning. Some can't take a bump. They kind of like lose control. Some are a little heavier. So once you bump something, it doesn't lose control as much. So... The overall game is so the mechanics, the, the cops, the world itself um, is amazing. You know, the, of course, the map is huge, like everybody's been saying, and a lot of it looks a lot different depending where you go in the game. A lot of hills, a lot of you know, different terrain. So, the overall game itself looks and feels great. Now, the next thing I like about the game is, of course, the side missions, and that's something I can't say about any other GTA game itself or any knockoff what i mean by that is when i'm playing the main story and i see side missions i go play them and i don't feel like they're a chore i don't get bored and overall they're mostly entertaining and fun so that's something different for any gta game i pr you know played previously so that's awesome the next thing is another thing also they're well balanced each character has different side missions so it's not like you're doing the same side mission for every single character or all three characters, not every single, there's three of them. So the side missions are a little different. For the most part, this is the, the two side missions you see right now, they're somewhat similar. The first one being aliens, this one being crazy clowns. So for the most part, you're, you're shooting a whole bunch of freaking enemies. So they feel a little similar. Um, each character has different abilities. Uh, the one you're seeing right now has rage. What that means is it's like he's a meth head. So you don't get hurt as much and you can shoot as many people without taking that much damage um, then you have bullet time and you have super slow motion while driving I'll let you figure out which character does which so yeah um, and the last thing I guess is the the main story the campaign For the most part the campaign is well paced what I mean by that is most games they kind of go down or they go up down then up what I mean by that is the beginning is really well written and well paced and extremely violent. And they keep up with that throughout the whole entire game I have played so far. And that's again 50% of the entire game. So, so far over 20 hours in, I have not gotten bored of the game itself or the story in the game. And again, that's not, that, that's not something I can say about any other GTA games over 20 hours in. So yeah, my opinion is Rockstar did an amazing job with GTA 5 and I definitely recommend this to anybody over the age of 17 of course it's up to your parent then but yeah definitely an enjoyable game really so far I haven't found nothing I dislike about it and 
yeah, that is pretty much my opinion of GTA 5. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, if you like the game, give this video a thumbs up or if you enjoy the video. If you dislike this game for some reason, uh, I don't know what's your problem, but dislike the video, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. This has been my review of GTA 5. Catch you in the next video. Peace.